Shotgun Raids, an infamous name within the Minecraft scene. From being a 16 year old and collaborating with household names, to them being exposed for stealing people's content and indirectly promoting hack clients, leading to his eventual disappearance for several months at a time. This is how Shotgun Raids destroyed his own career. Shotgun began uploading content at the young age of 13, where on December the 3rd of 2015, he posted his first video, a Minecraft Factions video. And despite this being his first upload, Shotgun was accompanied by two extremely popular YouTubers, Larklin and Vicstar. And while this did raise some suspicion, there was a pinned comment stating the following, getting back into learning how to edit these. It'll be a bit rough for now, but I'm slowly getting better at it. So the likely scenario is that Shotgun had a previous channel, and hence his collaboration with the these huge names in the scene were able to happen so soon. However, despite the company, he faced very inconsistent views, with his videos peaking at two to three thousand. While this was still impressive, it was nowhere near the state that Shotgun wished to be. But that was all going to change very soon, because on the 2nd of March 2016, Shotgun released a video titled Minecraft Sky Wars another hacker. This was his third video within the hacker series. From an early viewer's perspective, it was easy to see that Shotgun had developed an interest in fighting hackers as well as the general side of cheating within Minecraft content, but this interest would eventually lead to Shotgun's downfall. Over the next few years, Shotgun continued to consistently upload Hypixel Sky Wars, Bed Wars, as well as Cosmic PvP, a faction server owned by his friend and fellow content creator Preston Plays. Despite his consistent uploads, his videos failed to gain any traction, peaking at most at Four to 5,000 views. That was until the 5th of June 2017, where Shotgun posted the following video, Knockback Stick Challenge, featuring Preston Plays. The video took off and now sits at over 180,000 views. Shotgun noticed his success that he had received and began to put all his focus into Hypixel Bed Wars, and it paid off immensely because over the next few months, Shotgun's videos gained more and more traction, his views increasing by the day. It continued to collab with the likes of Preston Plays, Vicstar, and so on, inevitably assisting him with hitting 30,000 subscribers and receiving the Hypixel YouTube rank. He continued to upload videos over the course of a few months, exploring various glitches, fighting hackers, etc. And it wasn't long after where he'd have a video surpass over a million views. But this video would be the very one that sparked Shotgun's road downhill. The concept of the video was Shotgun's friend pretending to be a Twitch streamer who then falsely accused Shotgun of hacking in Bed Wars. The video was both clickbaity and entirely scripted, but this would be one video of many. Shotgun's career peaked during this stage, and it just so happened that around here is when Shotgun got into some drama with another very popular YouTuber, Technoblade. Shotgun posted a video about a Bed Wars update, that just did not happen. He claimed in his video that it was a failure and he requested his viewers to protest for it to be removed. This is what initially caught Technoblade's attention because not long after, Techno responded with a video of his own, bluntly stating that Shotgun was both lying and farming views. And just as everyone expected, Shotgun saw the opportunity to get into some heated drama with a name much bigger than his own. He responded with a video, which is now deleted, followed by Technoblade then replying again in a very jokingly fashion. They were then both seen playing bedwars with one another not long after, with Technoblade being his usual self, trolling Shotgun the entire game. Throughout this point of Shotgun's career, there were many instances where Shotgun would express through tweets how his mother did not approve of his career, or even comprehend what it was. She questioned him regularly, asking if he was involved in illegal activities, and at one point when he accidentally leaked his own address, an individual ended up showing up at his front door with a package. His mother ended up being very stressed, questioning if he was selling illegal substances and so on. But this didn't hinder Shotgun's career much. In fact, something else did. The YouTuber Tenebris. Tenebris released a 30 minute video exposing Shotgun for various different reasons involving clickbaiting, stealing content and promoting cheat clients. The video reached almost half a million views and again both Tenebris and Shotgun in now some deleted videos went back and forth with one another. The most viable claim being that Shotgun stole content from Tenebris. Shotgun claimed that while he was influenced by some of Tenebris's ideas he did not steal and he claimed that he had provided credit where it was due. But aside from this, Shotgun Shotgun did admit to his clickbaiting behaviours, and he even went on to title himself the clickbaiting king. It wasn't long after where Shotgun would then disappear, seemingly for months at a time with little to no explanation. Either it was down to the backlash he received because of his behaviours, or something else. The main cause is still not known. The only time that we saw any form of explanation was when Shotgun posted the following video. I'll be back very soon don't worry. And just to further highlight Shotgun's career at this point in time, the video achieved well over 300,000 views. Regardless, this is what Shotgun had to say on why he disappeared for several months. Okay, we're making a Minecraft video to 
This feels really weird. So I guess I need to talk about why I actually quit. You I've been uploading on this channel. I haven't quit, but I'll, I'll you can watch the video. I'll talk about everything from my head. So basically, Minecraft's a boring game, and it's just not as fun as it used to be. That's just how it is. I mean, I still enjoy playing the game every now and again, but it's nowhere near as fun as it used to be. So why would I upload videos on something I don't want to play, you know? He did briefly return in August of 2019, where he can be seen participating in the popular event, Minecraft Monday, with his teammate at the time, Technoblade. However, again after this, he left the Shotgun Raids channel rotting. He did in fact upload a few videos between 2019 and the present day, but all of the videos are repeats of themselves. He's essentially uploading the same video over and over again, and he's been doing this for over four years is now. The same clickbaity faked video of him trolling a Twitch streamer, which is in fact his friend. But a lot of you may be questioning, how exactly was Shotgun Raids caught? How did people find out that the individual within all his streamer hacking videos was in fact Shotgun's friend from his Fortnite channel? Well, that's because this individual went by the name Shadical, and he was also later exposed for dealing with some underage fans. Yeah, not a great look considering he's part of Shotgun's most popular videos till date. So not only does he admit to being reckless with minors, but he also admits to forcing his girlfriend to have with him. This guy is a monster. There's really no other word that I can use to describe such a person. This guy has 800,000 subscribers. He makes videos for kids and he's going around abusing his fans and abusing his girlfriend. This guy does not deserve his platform whatsoever. But even despite this, Shotgun continues to pull millions of views each time he uploads and he plans to return to uploading again very soon. His fans continue to grow more and more hatred towards him each time he chooses to upload, as even they are recognizing the scummy nature of the YouTuber Shotgun Raids. If his return is in fact another lie or not, I cannot say, but I do not believe Shotgun can progress further in his career until he owns up and admits to the mistakes he's made. I also did not mention the Shotgun did have a Fortnite channel, which again was filled with the same nature of content, clickbaiting, lying to his fans, and scummy content. But even aside from all of this, his Minecraft channel boasts over 140 million views, and his Fortnite channel over 140 120 million. So even if Shotgun chooses not to upload, I feel like he's made more than enough money to be set for the rest of his life. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. This video took a lot of time to both research and edit, and I would really appreciate you subscribing as we're getting so close to 20,000 subscribers. But for now, this has been Blasolic with how Shotgun Raids destroyed his own career.